Welcome to the first episode of our recursive type series. In this first episode, we will take a look into, I call it the extraction pattern, which we can use to extract certain type information from our existing types by using recursion. So let's get started by first taking a look into how TypeScript itself uses this type of recursion to create new types. So let's say we have a nested promise here. And this is a promise inside a promise inside a promise and in there is a string. Now we want to have like an unnested promise type because we don't, we are not really interested in the promise itself, but only in the result, like in the string here. So how can we do this? Well, TypeScript itself provides us the so-called awaited type, which we can use and pass it our type. So we pass it our nested promise. And if we now check the type here, we can see we get back the string. So the unwrapped promise. If I change this to number, we can see I get back the number. So this is like an example how TypeScript uses this, but there are many other ways where TypeScript uses this kind of recursion. But let's now build something similar ourselves, but without using promises, but with using multidimensional arrays. So let's do this ourselves. So first remove the code and let's say we have our multi array here, which is an array inside an array inside an array. And let's say there is a number in there. Now we want to unwrap this multidimensional array. So we want to only have the, the real type of this array. So if we check this type here, we can see this, this is a multidimensional array as already mentioned. Now let's build a type which can do what we want to achieve. So let's call this unmulti array. And we again pass in our type T. And now we have to do some recursive calls. So how do we do this? Well, we use the extends check to use it like a ternary. So we can say, okay, if this T we pass in extends an array. So basically if this T is of type array we pass in, we will use infer to extract what the inner type, what the generic type of this array is. If you have not worked with infer, I will link the video about it I have done in the info box and you can just click on it and watch it prior if you don't have, if you have not used infer prior to this video. So we will say we infer this inner type. So we will save the type of this, of this array in our inner variable. And then we will just call on multi array again with this inner type. Otherwise, if this is not an array, then we just return this T itself because let's, let's just backtrack a little bit. If this T here is an array, just go one step into it and check again. Otherwise, if this is not an array, just return the value. And now we can see the result here. And we can say we have our unmulti array where we pass our multi array. And if we now check the type here, we can see that we get back the real number. So if I go into the multi array and change this, for example, to a more complex type, we will see we'll, we will get back the more complex type. So this is like a simple way of using recursion to extract certain type information out of our existing types. So you see why I call it extraction, extraction pattern, because we are not like changing the type or changing or, or creating basically new types, but we are extracting certain types from our, from our existing type and use it as a new one. And in the next video, we will be talking about the second pattern. I like to call it the manipulation pattern to take an existing type, manipulate it and create a new one with certain changes to the existing type.